welcome back to following Freeman. So in this video, I'm going to be doing Erin's three and four month update, baby update. So I decided to combine three and four months together because in three months, it really wasn't much going on with her for a whole video. So we're going to just put those three and four months together and we're going to do it like that. So Erin is... 12 pounds and 7 ounces I believe and she is 23 and a half inches so she has grown a lot and I have been telling everybody like my baby is getting heavy like I be calling her fat she ain't fat she's still little but she is getting heavy like you really can feel it when you pick her up she is heavy and she's in a size 2 pamper right now she's actually been in size 2 pamper for a few weeks now I did have some ones left over y'all, but I refused to just throw those pampers away. So I had like 10 pampers left and I used them doggone pampers. I'm sure they was a little snug on them, but we had to use some pampers because I ain't got nobody to give them to right now. And well, I guess I could, well, yeah, we just used them pampers. Enough. And she is still in a zero to three month clothes. However, y'all. Wait a minute, because I just told y'all she was growing like she was 12 pounds, but she's still in a zero to three month clothes. But I mean, she can still wear a little bit like, you know, the width is fine, but the length is getting a little snug. So within the next week or so, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring out the three to six month clothes. So she's still eating every four hours. Right now, she's eating about five and a half ounces. And um, the formula that she drinks is um, the Gerber Good Start. And I, you know, I um, I haven't been giving her the breast milk like I should. Like I said um, previously, I do still have a lot of breast milk stored. And at one point, I had started giving it to her, you know, just alternating the breast milk with the formula. But recently, I have not been giving her no breast milk. So, I think I need to go ahead and get rid of that. I know, like, the old folks, they don't do stuff. They don't do what the doctors say do. So, I was just really, like, tired of just waking up every few hours at night. So, I was like, you know what? She be getting up in the middle of the night because she be hungry, you know. So maybe that, you know, that milk, that like the old folks say, that milk just be running straight through her. So I went to the store and I got her some cereal. So I have been putting a little bit, like a teaspoon or two of rice cereal in her milk. And to be honest with y'all, she still be waking up like clockwork. It ain't working, but she gained her some pounds. So I guess I'm going to just keep giving it to her. And, um, because in the few weeks or so she'll be ready for cereal anyway and i don't give it to her in every bottle i kind of switch it up like one bottle has cereal one won't like that i think i hear her waking up y'all that you know they spit up a lot because they're too full so i've been giving her five and a half ounces like i said and she spits up sometimes but she don't spit up a lot you know and sometimes y'all i find it so hard to burp her like sometimes i give her the bottle she finishes and she's like uh, right off off top other times like at night when we do i wake up in the middle of the night and i feed her she don't burp like i'm patting and i'm patting and i'm patting her back and she just don't burp she really just she just go back to sleep like forget this so i just let her tail on down She is still not sleeping through the night, but she does sleep longer at night than she does during the day. So at night, I will feed her around the early part of the night, about 9 or 10 at the latest. And then she'll wake up about 3, sometimes 4. And I feed her then, and then she'll wake back up around 8, maybe 9. So, we have been getting a lot better when it comes to sleeping through the night. But it's not like I'm going to put her down at like 8, 9 o'clock, and she's just out to the next morning. We haven't gotten that far yet. So, yes, I am still tired. 
I am still getting up like clockwork every four hours or but see at night at night time I get a little bit more than four hours at night on a good night um <clears throat> through the day look how she looking at y'all like what, what what is this you see yourself girl you see you girl say hey say what they doing say mama what are we doing but anyway so during the day she does stay up a lot longer um she take naps through the day but the naps are so short they're like 15 to 30 minutes so you think she about to be out for two hours or so and then she pull the switch switcheroo on you and she up in like 15 minutes so during the day i can't really you know it's 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 not consistent but she does take her little naps or so throughout the day but it's when she want to take them and how long she want them to be before she was staying up tops about two hours and then she'll be ready for her nap but now she's staying up a little bit longer and i know when she um is tired because she'll start whining for the most part she's really quiet she likes to watch tv she likes to play and stuff so when she starts whining she has had enough and she ready to lay down Thank the Lord, we have not had any major illnesses, um, no health issues, anything like that, nothing major rather. Um, a few minor things that I have noticed these past two months is that, um, for one, let's see if y'all can see, right here in the crease of her arm, you may be able to see like a little light spot right there, right here. So I did notice a little male case of eczema but I have some hydrocortisone cream and I put that there and in about two days it had cleared up so that was a good thing she got her vaccinations then um, she did have a little fever for like it was the next day the next day she had a fever this gave her a little bit of Tylenol and that was that and back when she was three months she had the cradle cap and i think i had mentioned that to y'all on her two month video so what happened was i got recommended by the doctor to just wash her hair a little more often and use olive oil to loosen up the cradle cap so i got me a little small thing of olive oil and i started washing her hair like twice a week with the olive oil and y'all that stuff works it really really works i wash her hair regularly rinse it out or whatever just so that it can loosen the cradle cap and then i will put the olive oil on there just you know go some massage it around her head get it all loose or whatever and then i take a little comb and i just kind of like scrape it scrape you know just kind of like how you scratch your um how somebody scratch your dandruff or something like that and i just do that gently or whatever it will come up very easily then afterwards i would just rinse her hair back out and dry it and that's it y'all but she's had no colds no diaper rash either um so we've been she's been a pretty healthy baby and with the um vaccinations i remember back with the big kids when they would get their vaccinations, they would have knots on their legs. And they used to tell us, like, you know, you just rub and massage it out. But I don't know if they got some type of different vaccinations going on now or what. Or maybe she just a different little baby. But she, she never got the knots. She never got the knots on her leg. And I know a lot of people don't, um, that don't vaccinate their children and to be honest with you I was considering it because they always make it like it's mandatory like oh, you have to get your children these vaccinations and stuff and you know but it's really not mandatory and it really makes you think like what are they putting in my child what is this you know what I'm saying we don't know what the heck they be putting in our children and the fact that they have to get them as babies so often like you have to put you put in all of this medicine or whatever it is in my infant little baby you know so early it's 
it gives you a lot to think about you know like why are is this the reason why all these kids are having childhood cancer you know it's a lot to think about but i just came to the decision to just go ahead and do it because this is something that you know i had it my other kids had it it's just like the norm you know and i'm not um against people not getting it you do what you feel you know but i don't know i just decided to go ahead and carry on with it she is still a wiggle worm you guys Ooh. um she rolls over like for real for real i set her down one place i look back over she is on the other end of the bed so yes she really be rolling over she be using them little legs and she push and push and then she roll over but once she on her back she like a a roly poly or something like once she on her back she can't do nothing is that roly poly or a roach something i don't know all right not, not bad on a roach <laughs> but y'all know the animal like a turtle or something like once they be on their back they just stuck just stuck moving their little hands and feet like they can't do nothing so that's what she be doing I have noticed that she started reaching for things like when she's in the car seat there's a little tag that hangs on the side and I'll sometimes find her reaching at the tag and trying to play with the tag and stuff so I'm noticing that and she is continuing to scoot but it hasn't reached like a crawling scoot yet it's just a little you know pushing up on her feet and stuff like that but she don't scoot as much as she rolls over she rolls over a lot and she's scooting just a little bit i'm starting to um notice her emotions like when she's excited she's kicking her feet and laughing and stuff and like when she's mad or she's afraid of something of course she'll cry she might stick her little lip out like like that <laughs> so it's really cool and exciting to like see her coming to herself coming to her personality and her emotions and stuff and just see her reaction to different things yeah i see she's so nosy look her little one eyebrow <laughs> you tired girl oh you work hard all night say hey to the people so hey you guys so you guys that pretty much sums it up for Erin's three and four month progress thank you all so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and we will see you all on the next video Bye.